welcome back my faithful viewers and welcome to another video so i got a challenge for you this time i don't have a review i'm just gonna eat dinner and talk it's not mukbang it's just dinner mukbang is a challenge you eat something unusual you do something unusual whether it's a type of food or the amount of it this isn't unusual it just is anything let's just get that first bite in mm. 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 oh my god mm. i need this um mm. a japanese sauce mm. a cook whip Mm-hmm. Makes any make a rock taste good, I tell you that. Makes a rock taste good. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh god. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. Uh, this is my only meal for the day. I had one egg this morning with a couple of mini pancakes, but that was like around 8, 8.30. And this is now 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know when you'll be getting it. Um, Mm. I really do try. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. I really do try to limit myself and not taking yourself seriously. I mean, seriously. And how can anyone else do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let me see what's going on in the news. Hmm. I'm just checking my phone. Sit that and how are you all then today? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Authorities swoop in on a restaurant that challenged customers to eat 108 dumplings. Hong Kong a restaurant in, a chi in China that challenged customers to eat more than 100 dumplings in return for a free meal has fallen foul of a door authority who investigating whether it has violated the country's anti-fruit waste. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Now, this is an interesting topic. You see, here in America, when you go, I'm doing all you can eat buffet. It's just that's so all you can eat. You can take what you want. Now, how many times mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's bad. This is smoked chicken breast right here. Mmm. That Japanese sauce makes it taste a thousand times better. Anyway. In other parts of the world, when you go to a buffet, 
and you take you can take as much food as you want but if you don't finish it they charge you what's called a waste tax uh-huh because food food is precious to a lot of other places only in america do we have so much food in our refrigerators that we throw it out because it went bad before we had a chance to eat it not so much in other countries so because food is considered a premium if you go to a buffet and you don't eat everything you take you're charged the waste tax and that's because the restaurant's gonna be charged a waste tax for throwing away food why should the restaurant pay for something that you did is one way of looking at it mm. 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 I'm so sad I'm not Asian I am so sad because I love the Asian cuisine so much I don't care if it's Japanese Chinese Korean I don't care Filipino I don't care Vietnamese I don't care mm. Mm. it tastes delicious anyway so anyway this store this restaurant in Hong Kong was seemed to challenge the people to be wasteful because they weren't finishing the challenge now my question is did the customer have to pay that waste tax or could his friends help him eat it which means he would still have to pay for the dinner because he didn't complete the challenge uh, but it would be waste would it <laughs> it's China they don't give the full story but anyway I don't know, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a speed challenge. Okay, they advertise on social media, entice patrons only to find yourself in a hot seat. Oh, okay. Eating contests are relatively common in the Western countries and can bring fame for the winners, like Joey Chestnut, <laughs> um, who last week, yeah, last week he broke the, did he break the new record? No, he didn't break it. He only ate 62. The record, I think, is 70 something. Anyway um a lot of countries frown on that yeah okay so it looks like they were not aware of the law and because they entice people with advertising they actually go to do the yeah and then people are like you don't regulate food safety but you're regulating this Ooh. <laughs> if you knew the food laws in other countries oh my god anyway what's another news Mm -hmm. 
is an article about cherry seeds. I'm going to read that one later. But I saved my cherry seeds from my plant. Oh, excuse me. And I want to grow them. But I don't want to be inundated with so many cherry trees. So I'm going to have to look for homes before I start them. Mmm. Did you read this one? Marine taken into custody after missing 14-year-old girl found in his barrack. Someone likes him young. <laughs> Marine taken custody, questioning, 14-year-old girl reported missing. Uh-huh, girl was reported missing by her grandmother on June 13th. You've been gone a minute. It appears someone bought her. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. You're going to have to read that one on your own. I can't read that on here. <laughs> yes, transaction of. Yeah. Ooh, that man's in trouble. Mm. You know, I don't understand. You got some women, grown ass women, are more than willing to dress up in a schoolgirl outfit, you know. What transactions between two grown people is none of my business. And I judge no faith. But you don't have to go after the kids to get that, you know. Mm. But, ooh, ooh. <laughs> sorry, my hands are not working. They didn't hold the camera right yesterday either. <laughs> anyway. mm. I had someone come back. I wish people stopped confessing to me. I know so many. <laughs> Good news, I blab. Bad news, I forget. I even know. Uh -uh. But anyway, he confessed that the only reason why he likes him young because he wants to get them unspoiled before anyone else has a chance to touch him. He wants to be the first. And I'm thinking, uh, you weird. <laughs> you are dangerously weird. Of course, I was in college at the time. So at that age, all I was thinking is get the hell away from this dude. <laughs> Because if you like them like that, no, 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 that is way too much information for me to know. Of course, I think someone did rat him out. And so. And I didn't see him shortly after that. Shortly after that, it was like maybe a week or two later, he disappeared. It was like even never there. Mm hmm. Mm. He 
want to talk about high uh, college days. Oh my God. There was this dude there that, um, let's say he has, okay, I was in theater and I was helping with the production set. And I think we were doing Hop Finn. Hmm. Yeah, we were doing Huckleberry Finn. Um, Mark Twain. Yes, yes, yes. And there was this one dude, older gentleman, maybe in his late 40s. And he went out for the lead part. And the director was like, well, that would be a good example for, you know, the lead part to be an older gentleman. So that the kid, the younger actors have someone to follow, you know, as an example. <laughs> well, this is a small town we in. Uh, excuse me. Two supermarkets in the old town. One high school, one junior college, and uh, three or four elementary schools. Yeah. Well, anyway, he kept the secret well, but it turns out that he was one of those people that had to register what a certain department every time he moved and he couldn't be anywhere near a playground or school. <laughs> but college campus was different because college campus, normally people are 17, 18, you know, uh, young adults. So that was okay, you know. Um, he joined the production. We didn't know at the time. He was cast as one of the leads not Huck Finn, one of the, um, the older characters. Anyway, the point is and that once we found out, once I found out who he was, I went straight to the director. I was like, we need to get him away from those kids. Ugh. And no wonder he kept asking the 11 year olds, do you have a boyfriend? Do you want a boyfriend? Seen them that that should have been a, that should have been the telltale, but you know what? We were all like not even thinking like that. Oh my God, we were not thinking like that. But it was like I said, once I found that, I went straight to the maestro, and he was gone. Mm -hmm. He was gone, and um. It was questions asked, and all the directors said that he cannot be part of the play anymore. Overall, people were happy he was gone, which is pretty sad because he made everybody feel weird. I was, a, I was happy I was able to open my mouth that day. And I learned to do a lot of things in college, like stick up for myself. Oh dear. Then go on 20 minutes, guy, and I haven't even finished this. I'm going to pack this up. And I'm going to go ahead and save it for a snack. Um, it was delicious. Mm. I wish I could show you the um, the sauce that I use. And you get it from Costco. Angela from Soul Food Eat, she uses it a lot. It's a small, it's a tall squeeze bottle, white label with an octopus on it. That is really good. You get it from Costco. Mhm. Mm anyway, guys, I'm done eating. Now, I could probably squish that in, but that's not healthy for me, and it won't be pretty for you. Anyway, 
You thought it was just a snack and go. I'll see you around, hopefully with something interesting to show you. Or to, uh, we go out in the garden again, that was fun. Oh God, I love my garden. Well, uh, I don't know, we'll think of something interesting. But anyway, until then guys, we're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna prepare for the worst. I guarantee you kids we're all gonna end up somewhere in the middle. So till next time, bye.